For a few decades now, research into the vast community of microbes that inhabit the gut has been accelerating. It's a journey fueled by discoveries linking human diseases such as diabetes and cancer to the makeup and activity of this ecosystem within us. But in the pursuit of definitive pathways that lead to better or poorer health, are microbiome scientists working with an incomplete map? In a new review published in the journal Gut Microbiome, nutrition scientist Professor Hannah Law Daniel discusses how the physiology of the gut itself is a missing link in efforts to connect the gut microbiome to human health. The gastrointestinal system, Professor Daniel writes, is a masterpiece of biological complexity. Biomolecular sensors register the composition of incoming food and synchronize digestion to the energy needs of our bodies. All the while, small molecules including short-chain fatty acids, vitamins and amino acids shuttle in and out to keep our metabolism in balance. While microbiome studies are keen to identify the individual makers and users of these compounds, they tend to leave out the role played by ordinary gut function in shaping microbial activity. Take transit time, for example. Research shows that the time it takes for food to enter and exit the gastrointestinal system can affect the composition of the gut's microbial community, yet very few have factored transit time into their interpretation of experimental findings. Another overlooked aspect of gut physiology is how expansive and varied the gut landscape can be. Like burrows of a bustling metropolis, the different compartments of the gastrointestinal tract give rise to distinct populations of microbes. Even along the radial dimension, a tiny explorer would not be surprised to discover contrasting microbial communities to match the steeply changing terrain. And yet, much of what is reported about the gut microbiome is gathered almost entirely from stool samples. This calls for special care in mapping the gut microbiome experience after they've already completed their journey through the body. And whose body, for that matter, is just as important to consider because although animal models like mice are powerful for conducting microbiome research, findings don't always translate to the human condition. The reasons why can most readily be found in the glaring differences in the structure and organization of the gastrointestinal system, but many less apparent factors are just as impactful. What mice eat, where they're raised, and even who cares for them during testing all affect the physiology of their gut in many known and unknown ways. To be sure, there is much room for improvement in the exploration of the gut microbiome, but the path connecting this universe within to human health is getting clearer. Appreciating the documented effects of gut physiology while minding the limitations of current research methods could go a long way toward advancing overall health through the gut.